Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Tammy. Today I want to talk to you about super cubes. These are silicone trays that we use for freezer storage and it has revolutionized our freezer. It does such a great job. So they come in a variety of sizes, starting with the small two tablespoon. They come with a lid. There's a metal rim around the top so they're nice and Dirty. They just work great. There's the one cup. It also has half cup measurement in it. Two cup also has one cup measurement in it. So we like to use this size for our soups. This is great for cooked beans and um, you can bake in them as well. So you could make little mini banana loaves if you wanted to. This is the half cup it also has quarter cup measurement in it and i like to use this one when i pre-cook some grains so today i have in here some oat groats and i'm going to freeze them up in these little half cup portions these are just perfect for when i want to add some to soup or i want to add it to a salad or maybe i'm making like a buddha bowl or a hippie bowl as they're called and I just want grains beans and greens and this works great also it prevents me from having to eat the same exact grain every day because I don't store it in my refrigerator instead I can put it in my freezer and then I can have wild rice and brown rice and the oat groats and I can also have um, maybe quinoa made and if i choose a different one every day it's not a problem so it also makes it really great um, if you have kids and they eat at different times then you've always got things made ahead of time so i just use a spatula and put it in and then i'm going to show you a little trick on how i kind of tamper it down to make sure that it's going to freeze in a nice little brick for me. And then once they're frozen, it takes about maybe 24 hours for them to be good and frozen. Then I pop them out of the trays and I put them in freezer Ziploc bags. And that way I free up my trays so that I have them for the next batch of whatever I decide to make. So in the two cup, you can also do like shepherd's pie in there lasagna um, make up little individual ones that's really awesome so much cheaper and healthier than buying prepared frozen foods so here we go now what i do is i have this small offset spatula and i take it and it's just the perfect size to tamper this tamp this down and that makes sure and see then I can see that I need to put more in that one. It has room for a little bit more. Just push it down. And then I'm going to go back and fill the ones that need just a little bit more. This is also great for portion control if that's an issue for you. Um, this works great for that as well. I just made pesto the other day. We had a lot of fresh basil in our garden that needed to be used up. And so I made pesto and I froze it in the small um, two tablespoon container. And then we can pop that out. If we just want one serving of it, we can do that. Or I can take it several out if more than one person wants to have pesto at the same time. Okay, that works great. See how neat that is? Then we just take and put the lid on. For every super cube tray you get, you do get a lid. Then they're so clever, they also came up with this labeling tape. And I just already wrote on here, oat groats. And I'm just going to tear it. If you wanna get fancy, you can cut it with a scissors so it'll be nice and neat. So it's, uh, cut in two different sections. So there's the wide piece or there's this narrow piece and the narrow piece fits beautifully on the edge of the lid. So depending on how you're going to put them in your freezer and it is a really good idea 
to label them because some things will look very similar once they're frozen. So here we have the label here on the lid going on the side. So if I put these in my freezer this way, I'll still be able to read them. Um, you can put it on the top if you want, if you're stacking them up, or you could put it down here as well. So these are super cubes. They're super important for us with our batch prepping and our storage needs. I'll link to them below in the show notes. So where it says more, just look down there and I'll give you a link to them. They're fantastic. We love them and I think you will too. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing for more kitchen tips, hints, and batch prepping ideas. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Tammy and I help you get healthy and stay healthy one kitchen tip at a time. See you next time.